The Norton Mark started out in 1898, and before long it was designing and producing its own engines in-house. From those meager beginnings the company contributed to the racing scene while performing its patriotic duty by producing units for use by the military during World War II. Norton has a long history with the Isle of Man race, and in fact it participated in the first TT ever held there in 1907. Here we are 110 years later with the Norton name still firmly entrenched in that world-famous competition. With that history in mind, one can't help but be aware that the bar is set fairly high for any Norton machine directly associated with the Isle of Man, so let's delve into this newest effort and see how well Norton upholds its reputation as a competitor to be reckoned with. Norton's guinea pig, which is neither pork, nor from New Zealand, was its SG5 TT race bike. Smelted and forged in the crucible that is the TT, the V4RR represents the lessons learned on the way to David Johnson's blistering 131 mile per hour average speed and 7th place finish in last year's race. The factory is quick to point out that the V4RR isn't just an SG5 with street legalizing lights and a plate holder, but instead is a top-down standalone design that is simply based on that most race-tastic of rides. Leading the way and impossible to ignore, is the carbon fiber bodywork that defines the look from nose to tail. The front fairing forms a blunt alien queen entry that houses the headlights like a pair of eyes set beneath the crown that is the speed screen.